I would like to welcome you to the downtown campus of Brunel University. In December of 2012, Brunel entered into a long-term agreement with the City of Gainesville to repurpose the former Georgia Mountain Center into what we know today as the Brunel Downtown Center. Spending over $6.7 million in renovations, the facility is multifaceted with a theater, now called the Brunel Theater on the Square, one of the three Brunel University theaters, Pierce being the largest, then the Bird Center's Hush Theater, and then this theater. The downtown center features a converted 2,500 seat arena into two floors of current and future classroom, laboratory, and office space. The second floor now houses our amazing human anatomy lab, which is larger than that of some medical schools. And we're still doing some work to use more space on the second floor, but you'll get to see this lab if you're not squeamish. On our way down to the DPT area, you'll notice beautiful artwork that makes up the Manhattan Gallery of Modern Art, which we call a living gallery because it is integrated into the space in the building that we use every day. This facility hosts our new Department of Physical Therapy down the hall. The first entering class of DPT students began with 40 students in May of 2015. Brunel University has an extensive permanent collection of art, more than 6,000 pieces, which significant portions of are on display in living galleries and working spaces on our campuses. We call our downtown collection the Manhattan Gallery. One of our most notable trustees, Leo Castelli, who is associated with Warhol, Rauschenberg, and many others, opened doors that helped us acquire much of the collection shown on these walls. The Manhattan Gallery, for example, is built around gifts from the Andy Warhol Foundation and the Dorothy and Herbert Vogel Collection both of which comprise splendid examples of post-World War II modern art that related to the New York School. The University Permanent Collection contains the largest number of works by Robert Rauschenberg of any college or university, and we believe the largest in any Rauschenberg collection other than that controlled by his estate. The bulk of these pieces came from Herb and Dorothy Vogel's collection. You may recall this unique couple, a postal worker and a librarian, who on their modest incomes amassed one of the greatest individual collections of modern art in a one-bedroom, rent-controlled Manhattan apartment. When they began disposing of the art, they presented 50 pieces to one institution in each of the 50 states. The High Museum of Atlanta, our academic partner, was the Georgia recipient. But they also gave some pieces to Dorothy's alma mater, Syracuse University, and to Brunel University. Herbert passed away several years ago but Dorothy attended the grand opening gala at the Manhattan Gallery. The downtown center has a large ballroom that can be subdivided into three smaller rooms for meetings or smaller lunches and dinners. Full catering is available, including city licensed beverage service. Brunel University will rent out space for groups to hold meetings here, and we often have special programs, shows, and events in this facility. 